Welcome back. I received my MK4 in the mail today. Um, I did know that it was on the way, but it ended up coming about a day early, which is great. So let's go ahead and get into this. This is the pre-assembled version. So that's the one I believe that's shipping a little bit faster. This is a day one order. Even though I tried to have a smooth unboxing, things definitely shifted during shipping. But we did get a full bag of the Haribo gummy bears. Stickers, which you can see that I've turned into magnets on that back wall uh, from the XL. And the metal USB that I hate using those. A textured steel sheet, so that comes both with the textured steel sheet and the regular standard PEI sheet. All the accessories are boxed up together. Now I've got it straight and you can see the original Prusa print on the print bed. It does come with a full roll of the Prusa Mint in the Galaxy Black, which I really like. So this pre-assembled MK4 really does come fully assembled. The tool head, everything's already ready to go. And it is packaged really well. It was pretty easy to get everything unloaded, get all of the packing off of it. I do wish that they would send the unpacking instructions in a paper format. Um, I do like following instructions, so I went ahead and pulled up the QR code and got it on my phone of what else I would need to do. The only thing that you have to put together is the filament holder and there is a filament guide on the MK4 that was not on previous MKs. So in this accessory box, we've got a screwdriver and some pretty heavy duty pliers that they've not given us before. There's also some small wrenches in there. And I believe those are for changing out nozzles. Then we've got the filament holder, different pieces for that. And this is the new filament guide. little pieces for the filament guide, screws, etc. And then our standard alcohol wipe and needle. So that's everything in the accessories. Take out the filament guide. And I went ahead and removed the audio from this video because we had a lot of machines in the background and it was just kind of loud in there. So you end up adding these little clear tubes on both sides into the guide. Then you add a nut and screw into both sides, which I had a hard time getting into place. I think I was just trying to be too careful with it and my hubby finally helped me get it figured out. Then you add a screw and nut into the base of the guide. Then we put the filament holder together, and this is the same as the previous MKs. Both sides work pretty good once you figure out which direction they need to go. Then the guide slips on.
and you tighten that, of course. Then we got it plugged in and turned on. This calibration process is very similar to the XL. I had to remember that you have to click the button and then as soon as it counts down, you're supposed to tap the end of the nozzle with some decent pressure. And then it goes through its whole calibration process. At this point, I realized that I did not pull the original Prusa print off of the build plate, but it doesn't end up being in the way. Let's go ahead and speed this up. It goes through all of the different axes. While it's going, I decide I might as well go ahead and unload the filament. This is PLA, so I go ahead and select that and let it go ahead and start heating up. And we decide it's time to have some gummy bears. This ends up taking long enough that my husband starts messing around with the gummy bears. Then we are calibrating the filament sensor. It has you take it out, put it in, to tell it yes or no whether it's, whether there's filament loaded. And I'm just in such the routine of putting the filament directly into the motor that even though the filament guide is right there and I just installed it, I bypass it and put it directly in the motor. And I must have clicked the wrong button at some point and it says test failed. That was the calibration for the filament. So it does say happy printing. It still lets me click OK. And that's a little frustrating. I mean, I shouldn't have clicked the wrong button. But at this point, I don't know how to just calibrate the sensor. So I went ahead and just reset it, which was not great because then I end up having to do the entire process again. It took about 15 minutes to do it the first time. So I have to go through the whole thing again. This is the second time that my husband decides to play with the camera. I didn't see this at all until finally the third one. I can definitely see why they added the filament sensor. After it does all of its calibrations, the filament is unwound a little bit, so I go ahead and fix that and get it loaded correctly. I'm still kind of having a hard time reading this screen standing and trying not to put my head directly in front of the camera. But I do get the filament sensor finally calibrated and everything's complete. And just like on the XL, it says happy printing in a picture of Joseph Bruscia. On the calibration, you're kind of just setting the filament in there, so you do still have to go ahead and load it like you normally do. At this point, it's been about half an hour, but because I messed up, I ended up doing the calibration twice. I realized I need to go ahead and pop the uh, original print off of the bed so I can go ahead and print something new. The MK4 does have one click print, so it loads the last one that was loaded onto the USB first. I didn't really want to print the spatula. I wanted to see what other options there were on this. So the preloaded G codes on this is the spatula, another filament guide, I guess if you want to do another color, a Robo Alpaca, the rocket engine, and two different colors of keychains. Then there's two folders. One is the Mini 13 Runner. I looked at this a little bit. I hadn't seen this online. I'm not really sure if this is another vehicle. The second one says Mini 13 Armor Runner. I'd like to print these, but I kind of want to know what they are so I know what color to print them in. And then there's the Mini Sandy Buggy. I did see a post, I believe it was from Prusa on Facebook that showed this. And it's a really cute car. I, d I definitely want to print this, but I want to look at that one as well and see what colors I want to print on each of them. So I end up going with the Robo Alpaca. It is a seven, I think it's seven and 45 minutes print, and it is a 0.2 layer height. So the MK4 also has these RGB lights that start as soon as you start the print. Starts off as blue, and when the print is completely done, it'll be green. 
It also has a great view of the picture of what it's printing. It has the progress bar on the right that shows what percentage it's at. One thing I noticed that was different on the MK4 than the XL is it actually says when the print is going to be completed. But I'm going to have to see if I can adjust that because it was telling me it would be done at 9 o'clock and that didn't really make sense from when I started it. Okay, let's see how this turned out. My first impressions is this is way more detailed than I was expecting. And the 0.2 layer height looks really great, especially with the galaxy, the little bit of glitter. I mean, I feel like I can't really even see layer lines. It looks great. I don't see any sagging on any of the bridging areas. There's some cool details, like it has Prusa right there, MK4 on the shoulder, and also on the back of the head. The first layer looks great. Those brims should pop off pretty easily, but it looks very smooth. I'm very impressed with this. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.